Well, welcome to the 2011 Extreme Winch Challenge. We're here at round three at Bendemeer in New South Wales. On the track at the moment is Christian and Terry in their Nissan Patrol. It's a 1989 model extra cab ute and heading up in the gully into this stage 10, the longest of the stages here in the Winch Challenge. And as you can see, there's a fair crowd gathered here to check out all the action. Tough corner, that one. Only one car so far has been able to make it around that corner without having to reverse up. Now this course uses this part of the track a total of three times. Once going up and twice down the hill. And as you can see, it's starting to get a bit churned up. Heading across the top of the track. Some tricky sections in this stage 10. Down into the loop section. One of the fastest parts of the course. Coming up to the first of the winch hills. Now this part of the course was done yesterday, so everybody has a fair idea of what to do on these two winches. In fact, Christian's having a go at going up without a winch, but he hasn't made it. Terry's out of the car now. Now he'll go straight to the tree that he used the day before, which means he doesn't have to think about where he's going. He can just go straight to it and start the winch. Okay. Now with these winch challenges, plenty of safety features that need to be in play before they can start winching. One of them is they need to have this damper on the cable and it needs to stay on for the whole of the winching. And you can see the, the damper's actually come off. It's got to get that back on, make sure it stays on. If he proceeds without leaving it on, he'll end up with a penalty, so he needs to make sure he gets that back on. In fact, it looks like he's going to drive the rest of this. Terry's unhooking. And I'm not allowed to move the car forward until the cable's completely in. Looks like Terry's not getting back into the car. He's going to go across to the top of the other hill, get set up, ready to go. And there you can see Terry running across in the background. Now it's not imperative that he gets there too quickly because uh, Christian's still got to do the loop around the bottom part of the circuit back up to the next climb. Terry's still at the top of the hill. He'll be getting set up for when he comes back around. You can see a great groove being made in the track there. So this is the hardest hill of the weekend. And in fact, Christian's done a great job of getting up the hill without a winch. Most of the trucks haven't got that far this weekend. Terry will have him winched, have the winch hooked up fairly quickly. These two work really well together as a team. As you can see, they're really getting through this course quickly. Righto, so that winch cable's hooked up. Christian's now on his way up to the top of the hill. I think this is going to be a pretty quick time. He's not mucking around getting up either of these hills. Those big worn winches reeling that in really quickly. After this, it's uh, another quick run back down the same hill as before, and then a sprint through the gully back to the finish. Now this car's got the standard motor in it, but does have a intercooled turbo added to it, which uh, gives it a bit of a bit more punch. And those massive 37 inch tyres. Once again, not going to make it around that corner without having to do a bit of a three point turn. But he really is flying. And into the finish and sets the fastest time for the day.